Alright, so this is DZ with GameStorm, and today we're going to be discussing each of our top three favorite titles for the Nintendo GameCube. And I'll go ahead and list my top three favorites, first being Super Smash Bros. Melee. I kind of have a competitive background with Smash, not necessarily Melee, I'm more into Brawl, but that game kind of sucks, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Super Mario Sunshine probably bring up two and three for me. I don't necessarily know what order they're in. But that's probably my three favorite green, three favorite games growing up as a kid. Uh, and like reasons for my top three. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. As a kid, the battle mode was kind of funny. Uh, it was pretty bad, but uh, it, it leaves some memories. And I really liked the story for that, and it was just like a... It was Sonic done right, in my opinion. Uh, the more recent Sonic games have been... Uh, more than disappointing, so I think that was like the actually the last good Sonic game. And a lot of people, they like when they think like top Mario games, they kind of leave Sunshine down a little bit lower than what I think it should be. Sunshine, it it was like the first Mario game with uh, aided jumps. It, it the people thought it kind of drifted away from the true platforming because you had flood and you could hover around. And more, most recently in Galaxy, you have the spin jump, so. Mm -hmm. They kind of uh, made it like more casual, less uh, more. It made you less likely to fail. But I I thought it did good. It really ushered in like the uh, the GameCube quite well, even though it wasn't like released on date. People were just thinking Luigi's Mansion was going to be the Nintendo GameCube Mario game, so they were mm -hmm. freaking out. Mm -hmm. But Melee definitely tops the list for Melee. Very very competitive game. If you uh, you know, take items off, pl play on like the not G rules. You know, <laughs> no items, stocks only. <laughs> Final destination. Oh yeah. Play on some of the less bullcraft stages. Uh, character balance for a fighting game. <laughs> it was relatively good. There's like seven or eight characters that you know will go out and win tournaments, but most of the characters are viable somewhat. You know, if you're better than your friend there, and you're using a bad character, then you're probably still gonna be able to beat him. And yeah, uh, lots and lots of replay value. That's what makes it good, the replay value. Yes, you, can, sir. You, can, you can still play Melee today and it'll be fun. <laughs> so that's my reasoning behind my top three games. And Christian, what are yours? Um, well, as growing up, I played a lot of Super Smash Brothers Melee with my brothers. That was a very competitive game between us, especially when you run the tournaments. A lot of <laughs> people get very mad and aggressive to those. Um, Neat for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 would go in there. I think that was just a very fun game, both in campaign and multiplayer. I think that was one of the first Need for Speed games to actually be good, in my opinion. I think that was before all the undergrounds and all those came out. Um, Mario Parties, like the series, is a good for, like, family, say. If you round up the family and play that, that would be a good game take up some time and an honorable mention probably the SSX Tricky this is just a <laughs> game to just go in there it's like a, it's not really like a normal game it's really a game just throw in there have some fun and have some competition the reasons behind mine is just how to play them like of course Super Smash Bros everybody that owned the game you must have played at some point and it's just very competitive. There's a bunch of tournament hostings for that. Um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was, in my opinion, probably one of my favorite Need for Speed. It was just a, you didn't, you didn't have the choice to customize your car like you do in Need for Speed nowadays. That was just a well-rounded game. Um, Mario Party was like a board game, but, mm -hmm. In virtual, it's like more advanced board game on the GameCube, and that if I'm telling you, if you have your family around and play that, that's gonna be a lot of fun. And FFX Tricky, you don't see many games like those nowadays, like doing the worm on your snowboard or jumping <laughs> off a huge cliff. It's crazy, and I think it's a lot of fun in these games. And I don't know, Austin. All right, uh, it's Adi. Um. You know, I'm not really a huge GameCube fanatic. Um, I do like it, but I didn't play a lot of games on it. But 
Uh, for my top three, uh, to keep the trend going, mine, my top one's probably Melee. Um, just like DZ, I have tournament backgrounds, go play that a lot with, uh, the other Dylan we have in our group, Mecha, whatever you want to call him. The Perkinator. Yeah, the Perkinator, you know, that, that kid. Yeah. Um, then I have, uh, Resident Evil 4 on there, just because I felt that was w- one of the best games I've played on any console, period. Um, gameplay's great. <laughs> it's, it's just really fun to play. I played a lot with my cousins growing up. It's, it's it was fun. Um, and then Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash is the stuff. <laughs> it's better than any of the other Mario Karts, in my opinion. And one of my favorite racing games, period. That being like Need for Speed, Midnight Club, anything else. Uh, it's really competitive with a bunch of people. It gets heated. If you've ever seen any of my videos on my channel, oh man. <laughs> it gets crazy. Yeah. And uh, my honorable mention would probably have to be Twilight Princess. I know, I know it's on the Wii. But the GameCube version was just as good and probably better in my opinion, just because I don't like motion controls. Wiggle waggle. And yeah, that, that's probably my <laughs> top three. Well, uh, y'all pretty much touched up on the melee. Um, yeah. With the original Super Smash Brothers, it was really fun. I used to play that. And then melee made it a lot faster pace and the levels were a lot smaller than they yeah. were on the original. And so it just made it like a lot more hectic. It matches got done a lot quicker. And I think they went the wrong way with Brawl. They made it slower to try and I guess make it kind of in the middle of, of both yeah. of the games. I'm not really sure what they were doing. I love but Midnight. if you play any other fighting game, it's fast paced. You look at, you know, like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you know, those matches take 90 seconds at most because that's, I mean, it's the counter, yeah. yeah. So you don't want to spend eight minutes playing a match. <laughs> and that's why I think Melee got it right because it's fast-paced like other fighting games, lots of options, but they did it in a different way. Instead of trying to kill your opponent, trying to knock them off the stage. I thought it was really innovative and, you know, I played the tournaments in it, so that that's why I like it. Um, Resident Evil 4, one of the best horror games in my opinion. It's not like really scary compared to other games. Um, there are scary moments in it. Yeah. But it's a really good adventure game. Um, lots of customizable weapons. Good story. A really, really good story. Um, Resident Evil 5 basically took the same story <laughs> and put black people in it <laughs> instead of Spanish people yeah. and called it the same game because they knew Resident Evil 4 was such a good game they just copied it. In my opinion. That's why I think Resident Evil 4 is better. Except they replaced Ashley with uh, Shiva. Yeah. Well, yeah. Made him playable. <laughs> and actually, she was actually decent and actually helped you. I'm like Ashley. Um, and then Double Dash, best racing game in my opinion. Um, I like the fact that you can have two people on the cards at the same time. It makes it a lot more like cooperative and competitive because you can have strategy. Um, you know, most games don't have that. It's just you racing. You don't have a teammate. And I thought that was really innovative. I really liked that a lot. And it, it's just, I don't know, they did it so well. The Mario Kart Wii is pretty good too, but you can't do two people. And I think that was my biggest joy, was having a teammate to talk with and, you know, you know just do stuff with. And then Twilight Princess, you know, is just a good game. It's not as good as Ocarina, in my opinion. But it's the best one they've come out since. Ocarina, in my opinion. Line, and then, like, line. Wind Waker, probably second. Or Majora's Mask, one of those. Yeah. yeah. And that's mine. And we talked this over, and we came up with the uh, top three games for the GameCube. Like, if you've never played a GameCube in your life, what games you should pick up? Number one on the list, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Without a doubt, we all agree on that. And number two being Resident Evil 4. It's, uh... You know, we've already touched up on this great adventure. If you haven't played a GameCube, it really like gives you the feel of a uh, single-player GameCube game. And for number three, we decided on Mario Kart Double Dash. It's a great party game. And, uh, there's no, there's no other game really like it. Is the thing. You know, you could say Super Mario Sunshine, but you can just go and like get a 64 and play Mario. 64. Yeah, yeah, Super Mario 64. Go play Galaxy on the Wii. There's similar stuff, but. Mario Kart Wii just doesn't really have the same feel to it as Double Dash's with the level of cooperation. 
It's also a little bit more competitive from my understanding. I haven't played Mario Kart or Mario Kart Wii all that much, but I it, it, like took the drifts out or something like that. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little more casual. So if you haven't haven't played a GameCube ever in your life, three games you should pick up. Melee, Mario Kart, and Resident Evil 4. Alright, so this has been our top three GameCube games. Don't forget to comment on the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Deezy with GameStorm, and uh, we'll catch you later.